Zeiss before I even breathe out. as high as we go. Hunting grounds. Good a place as any to make a name for myself with a banook. Keeper. Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. And what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his Warak. <laughs> well, you better get started then. You look like you've got some stories to tell. <laughs> oh, I outlived most of my stories. I ran with the Thunder's daughters long ago before they ran their course. For a time, we shook the snow off the men of Benor. I couldn't last. Some fell in glorious battle. Some were exiled in infamy. Still glorious, if you ask me. Others had a worse fate. What's worse? To grow old. And find that all the rules and traditions you fought so hard against are still there. That's why I tell all the hunters I trained to stay young. How do the trials work around here? There's no Karja medals. 
I had some, but I used them to patch up holes in my snow boots. Instead, you'll compete against the best time set by other Banuk hunters. To take second place, even third place, puts you among names of legend. What if I come in first? We'll see. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. And every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. Three trials, three challenges to endure. Which are you interested in? So you'll need to own a Banuk Stormslinger to take this trial. No more trials. Not yet. You can always come back. You're back for more. Good. The Onslaught Trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. It begins after you descend that rope to the arena. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent.
feels like if I blink, my eyes are free shut. Your first run on that trial, and you claimed second place. I haven't seen many pull that off. That's all I've got in me for now. When you have more, return. I beat a champion's time. That should get the Warak talking. God, I found this. Ouch.
bandits are subtle. Clearing them out would send a different kind of message in the air. Die, ain't afraid to kill. Wipe us out. Gonna destroy you. Try to run. Skulls let an intruder get in here. Don't let them get out again. Find them. Kill them. Fire. Might be an assassin in that patch there. Fire weapon. 
Can come in handy. Won't be long before the Werak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok. I've never had a chance to get up close and really look at a tall neck. Until I saw the worm in the frost. Funny. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke! It is not a joke, Eratok! The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. 
Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunderstrom. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of the Banuke hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. The figure should be just up there. The frost figures. Our attack on Raya must be close. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt, to strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well... Yes. And as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. There are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go.
Come on, Aloy, time's wasting. Looks like the right way. Almost to the top. All right, Challenger. You need to take out the herd below. Every machine. Kill herd. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Climb the ridge and launch your balloon! <sighs> Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. All right. Two dead Bellowbacks coming up. Challenger, raise your marker! I better get to that balloon. Come on over here and launch your balloon! Head, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Close now.
Almost down. All right, it's the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say.
Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch, it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon like Artox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. that pulse from the tower. They know where I am.
cut. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more fun. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Ur from the distant north. The young shaman of the Owl's Watch. A remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous, but also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, 
We both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. Now, brother! You can call upon the power of the old ones. What is this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from a terrible danger. Fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Let's just hope that some remains here. <laughs> <laughs> 